Fire spans 250 acres grew from 30 in a matter of hours. None of it is contained. Homes, cabins destroyed. You can see how quickly the situation can become dangerous as turbulent wind spreads the embers. People have been evacuating since late this morning and you were kind of in the path of that evacuation. So you had an opportunity to talk with a lot of different people. You've got a little bit of rain. Talk to us about what that means for this firefight and also the di direction we think the fire is going to be headed and who needs to really pay attention to this situation. The rescue from a collapsed trench took hours, but the flight to UT Medical Center took just minutes. This is the first of two patients finally arriving at the emergency room. Almost two hours after the first patient landed at UT, the second patient arrived by ambulance. Both spent more than six hours buried under dirt at a Powell construction site. When you think about it this way, it'll really connect for you. Cheerleading is has the second highest rate of catastrophic injuries behind only football. One neighborhood is basically getting a front row seat to some wild stuff. They don't need National Geographic on TV. It's happening right in front of them. Meteorologist Ben Kathy has left the studio. He's had it with me and Ted. <laughs> Needed a break from us. And the bonus is it's nice and sunny out there, Ben. Take a look at this exclusive video that our crews captured this morning. The emotional moment the sheriff brought six year old Elijah to safety. He was missing in the woods near his home for about 17 hours. An emotional roller coaster for his family, law enforcement, search crews, and admittedly, Ashley, us here in the newsroom, we were watching that video come through on the live feed. Sam, 60 children, you gotta imagine how scared they were during that entire ordeal. Now, the cause of the fire not known, but authorities have been warning that high wind could knock down power lines and ignite fires. Windy conditions have grounded helicopters. We saw dumping water earlier today. Now, Will, you're learning that planes in Texas are on standby for the morning should we need it. This is one of the cool things that you can have the kids do, the grown-ups can do. They can come sit in a real cockpit, touch all the buttons, get your picture made, wear the cool helmet. You know, they say always find a friend who has a boat. Uh -huh. I say find a friend who's a dedicated tailgater because they'll come early, they'll get the good spot, they'll grill you some gator, they'll do all the work for you. Also heavy is some of that machinery we see moving behind you. You can tell that they are not messing around with that big equipment that they are using in this firefight. A Severe County Resorts web camera shows the wildfire burning in Wares Valley. Taking a live look now, even in the dark, you can see all that smoke filling the skies. The Blue Angels, literally all of them just landed as we were coming live on the air, Brittany, but what an incredible show. You can still see some of the, the smoke from the exhaust, creating a nice moody ambiance for us out here. Yes. The last uh, cool thing you carried around was the president's helicopter when he went to Italy. Just a side job. It, it is a side job. They even have someone on stand on standby watching yeah. the bathroom. So the second one opens up, they are routing you to it. So there's <laughs> no backup line to the porta potties. How did that get started? Where did the tradition come from? Yeah. All the way back in the 60s, a radio broadcaster thought, you know what? It's just too much traffic driving in your car to get down to campus. I'm going to take my boat down there. And that's how the Vol Navy was born. Five firefighting vehicles have been destroyed. Here you see the burned out vehicles on Hatcher Mountain. Crews felt like they were being trapped by flames. The only way out was on foot. Basically, they had to backtrack out of that situation over ground that had already burned. Rick, this is sort of where golf stars are made. You want to take a picture of everyone, get everyone's <laughs> autograph just in case.